niche hobbies, bird watching must be one of the most interesting, educational, and accessible hobbies out there. While some might think this hobby must be very difficult to pick up, it's actually quite the opposite. Birding just takes a good eye, a keenness to enjoy the beauty of nature, and of course, a lot of patience. Hello everyone, it's Tanya from Jits into the Sunset. I'm with Google Arts and Culture to take you on a trip to a place where bird watching is something you can do all year round. But before we head into the wild, make sure you hit that subscribe button right here. If there's a bird watcher's paradise, then it's most definitely the Santiago de Compostela route in Galicia in Spain. With over 400 species of birds to look out for, there's a bird to see here every single month of the year. If you happen to be there between the months of January and February, make sure to look out for the common firecrest, one of Europe's smallest birds. And starlings, their flocks create these stunning, beautiful, fluid shapes in the sky. If you see a large bird with red feet and a peculiar beak, then there's a good chance that it's the white stork. This hard bird has grown in numbers in Galencia in the last decade and spends most of its winters inland. But if there's no birds in sight, make sure to keep your ear out for the song thrush. In spring, the forest comes to life as robins, Darwin fishes, blackbirds and Eurasian nuthatchers sing together. Abundant in Galatia's coastal wetlands, the largest of the wading birds. The Eurasian curlew is spotted in May, breeding in the Terras Dominios Biosphere Reserve. But if you miss them, don't worry. The Eurasian hoopo might be roaming in the nearby garden or grassland. Its colorful mix of black, white, brown plumage and eye-catching crest will give them away. If you find yourself in the mountainous regions near Camino del Norte and the Silver Way, make sure to look up to the sky because the griffin vulture might be up flying above you. This vulture is the largest and longest living carnivorous bird in Europe. Move farther away and you'll find the lesser kestrel, a small falcon eating its way before migrating to sub-Saharan Africa for winter. During September, Galassia becomes a hotspot for seabirds around the world. The northern gannet, the largest of seabirds, uses this route to migrate to the Gulf of Guinea for winter. But in the coastal wetland of the sea route of Alrosa in El Calmino, you'll find the Eurasian spoonbill. Known for its distinctive shape, a spoon, you'll usually find this bird in flocks. As the months get colder, the anatidae, a family of ducks, fill the wetland with life and colour. The Eurasian teal, the smallest of its species, can be seen with its vibrant plumage swimming around. However, if you spot a northern lapwing, brace yourself because winter is coming. A cinnamon of harsh weather, this bird can be easily recognized by its striking plumage and crest. While bird watching in El Calmino de Santiago is a life's must, don't forget that you can go birding anywhere in the world. Start by researching your local birds, grabbing a pair of binoculars and taking nature in. You'll be surprised what mother nature has in store. Are you a bird watcher? Let me know in the comments what your favorite bird is and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more out of this world videos. See you next time.